from Studio 3 at Buzz TV. It's The Horse's Mouth with Tom McManus. All right, time once again for the horse's mouth here. Tommy Max at my bar where everyone has a chance to have a seat and tell their story. It's the Biz Champion segment with my good friend, Major Harding, and brought to our good friends at Terrell Hogan Law Office. It's great to have them on board. This time around, we're talking marketing, we're talking branding, right up my alley. We all love talking about that. Let's welcome in the panel. Major Harding, welcome back, my friend. Hey, Tom. Good, good to see you. Good to be seen. Marketing's a huge part of business, growing business, awareness, branding, all of that kind of thing. It is amazing. Um, I've learned so much in the last four months yep. because I was always in the public work sector, you know, which was bid work and yep. stuff. I didn't have to do sales and marketing. Yep. I, mean, I had to perform. RFPs I, and then I had the to bid, perform, right? yeah. yeah. So now I'm learning. Uh, I tell the people around here I'm a dinosaur because I'm having to learn yep. all this digital marketing and, and, and web and branding and yeah. stuff, but it's been a great experience. Absolutely. Let's welcome in our guest, Twan, Hi. too, from Covet Branding. Yep. Hi, Twan. Hi, Tom. I'm well. Thanks for so having me. So uh, a lot of your family's down in South Florida. You've been back and forth in Jacksonville. Uh, yeah. Tell us about Covet Branding and what you're doing, man. Yeah, thanks for having me, first of all. Yeah. Um, Covet Branding is a boutique marketing consultancy okay. where we specialize in helping entrepreneurs and mid-market companies accelerate their growth okay. via strategic brand positioning and marketing planning and execution. Okay. And and what really differentiates us versus other consultancies is that our agency we use first hand experience that have been proven, tested okay. and tried through the twenty two years of experiences okay. that I have had working at companies like Procter and Gamble, Revlon and CoverGirl. So we do have a proven track record of okay. accelerating brands, whether they are big household brands that you guys have heard of, yep. or just disruptive indie brands that are growing 10 times in the marketplace. How do you, from a digital marketing perspective, how do you grow it? Now, I know you can buy ads, right? You got to have a budget for that, but say you don't. So let's just say you are a startup, yep. entrepreneur. What are some tips or what would you guys do in that situation? That's a great question. So I would say the first thing is contact us for a complimentary brand assessment okay. where we can cool. help you with your strategies yep. to understand what are your objectives. It all goes back to what is your brand objective. Okay. So from there, we can tailor a strategy and the content strategy to help accelerate your brand awareness. Okay. Um, is that just being diligent on social media? You know, like, because I know you can, because my wife's got a business, I have a business, I know you can, you know, do the Google ad route, you can get it up right. there, but right. that does, you know, got to have a budget for that, and if you don't, I'm just curious, like, is it more like, hey, just being, you know, consistent with your content, keep mm -hmm. getting the word out, keep tagging, branding, all that stuff, is that... Good. Yeah, that is, that is a really good point, Tom. So consistency for sure is one of the branding, yep. right? So yep. consistency enables and ensures that consumers remember who you are yep. when they are shopping, like in this purchase funnel. You're in the consideration set if they know that you exist. Right, right. So, exactly. So from yep. there, it's just yep. a lot of messaging. And yep. to your question about paid versus earned versus own, yep. um, you don't have to pay for awareness. There, right. you, you can earn awareness using word of mouth yep. um, and you have own channels like your website and your social channels yeah. you could uh, generate a lot of awareness yep. through those channels as well I'll tell you uh, just from being in the, the content world I mean look you got reels now right little clips you can get out there TikTok I'm not even on TikTok but I know that businesses mm -hmm. are using TikTok Instagram I mean yeah. it's it's right there for you and that does not cost a lot of money but it does cost you some time but once yeah. you put in and you you can help people with that right absolutely yep. so and I think you it, it's great that you pointed this out because there's so many avenues and channels so where should you go right yep. Yep. and I think as a brand and as a marketer and this is where I help companies it's what is your objective and who is your target audience, yep. right? They're yep. not all over the different channels that right. you just mentioned. Yep. So I think being very strategic and very choiceful yeah. of your yeah. um, your messaging, I think yeah. that's very important. I'm grimacing because I, I used to have this this business venture and we thought everybody, every, every, <laughs> and it's not. You gotta find your niche and then build that niche, no question about it. All right, as we wrap up the Biz Champion segment, how do you define success, Tuan? Um, to me, as a business owner and a consultancy, um, 
Success is when my clients are growing and they're seeing the results that they uh, want it to see okay. and that we have ignited their long-term strategic growth. Okay. Fantastic. Other than faith, family, and legacy, what do you got there, Major? You know, what would you Tom, say to define success? I just think leaving that legacy of success is, you know, just so per and permeated in me. No doubt. That, that I want to, you know, see people that, that I help along the, yeah. along the way. Yep. I'm involved in a, a ministry in Costa Rica and we're feeding 600 meals a week. Right. I really feel that's leaving yeah. something, you know, for, for somebody. So it's all about doing good in the world. No if doubt you ask about me. that. All right. Great answers. Thanks for being here. Best of luck. All Thanks right. All right. That'll do it for us this time around here on the horse's mouth. Make sure you check out Tuan's profile. You see Major Harding there as well. You see this conversation and many, many others at the dailynewsnetwork.com website. Till next time, stay safe out there and be cool. We'll see you right here on the horse's mouth. Daryl Hogan Law is a collection of lawyers that help people solve problems in areas of their life they're not able to solve them themselves. Uh, we are not individuals. We are purely a team. We work together uh, for all of our clients. We have the resources to win your case and win it to such a degree that you're going to be very happy with the results.